Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVP Nets video series on binary search interview questions and this video is about the array. <laughs> Confused, right? Yeah, actually this series is on binary search tree or binary tree but the next video of this video is going to be the minimum sort or sorry swap required to make a binary tree a binary search tree. So the simplest example would be like if you have one two and three so this is your binary tree but this is not binary search tree because two is not less than one so if you want to convert this binary tree into binary search tree what is the minimum swap required is one so you'll just swap these two values two and one and you are done right so yeah in order to understand this problem first you have to understand this one okay let's undo this so this is your given array. If you see this, the index is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is the array, this is the index, okay? Now we can see that this is not sorted and the question is minimum swap required to sort the given array. But I'll tell you a very easy way. And yeah, obviously for this array to be sorted, you need two swaps. You can swap these two and you can swap these two. Okay, there are multiple combinations. I mean, you can swap five with four, you can swap five with three, but you get the maximum benefit when you swap five with two because five also goes to its correct position and two also comes to its correct position. Then this is the minimum swap required question, right? So this is a greedy question. You have to be greedy in solving your problem. It's not just you will swap and you'll just return that, okay, I have swapped it or I have sorted it. No, this question is how many minimum swaps are required? So let's see how we'll do that. First of all, we will create a vector of pair. Okay. We'll create a vector of pair and integer and integer. Okay. And in this pair, we'll put this array values as the value and I mean, first position and this index of the array will go into the second position of this pair. Okay. So we'll keep this into this loop for loop and we'll iterate over this loop and create this vector. So the value would be one. So yeah, in the end, it would look something like this. One, zero, five, one, four, two, three, three, and two and four. So this is your index part and this is your value part. Okay, so this is your vector. Once you got this vector, you have to sort this vector based on the values. Let's quickly do that. So if we sort this here, one is it its correct position, right? So one and zero, this is okay. Five should go here and two should come here. So two and four, correct? And then three comma three and then four comma two and then five comma one. So this is your sorted vector. So this is now sorted. Once you sort this, you know what are the indexes which are not sorted. See, this is zeroth position and this is sorted position. So, so the first position is zero and we know that this is at its correct position. Okay, and see four, three, two, one. So this leftover numbers are not in sorted order. And if you see this, this is the original array, right? So five, four, three, two, all these four numbers are not in sorted order. So now you know that this four is not in its correct position. Four should be here. Okay. Meaning this two was here. See how reverse way of solving this is helping you. Correct. So now you know that, okay, these four pairs are not sorted. What you do after this is, let me write it here. We have one comma zero. This is one pair. And then we have two comma four and three comma three, four comma two and five comma one. Correct. Now this is your pair. You will have a for loop with I and you will check initialize I with zero, obviously. And you will check whether this I is equal to equal to this second number of this pair. Okay. So you will start with this for loop and iterate over this vector. So this is okay. Then you will continue. You will put your pointer here and you will say, okay. And you will increment i is equal to i plus one so that 
I will become one now. You will compare that I one is equal to four. No, it is not. Then you know that this is not at its correct position. Then what you have to do? You have to place this number at its correct position, or to say that you have to swap it. So after swapping, it will be like this. 5 and 1 will come here and this will go to this position correct because you have to swap this pair this whole pair with the fourth pair of the vector okay so now you will swap this one and this one so after swapping it will look something like this and you will still check this guy again after swapping because you need one here because your i is 1 until unless this is 1 you will not increment this pointer further okay so you will still be at this location after swapping so now you will check this i which is 1 is equal to 1 so then this is okay yeah good so this is at its correct position see 1 and 5 1 and 5 now actually we are trying to bring this whole array to its like original position then we'll increment our i and we'll come here so you'll again check with this second value with this pointer so this 2 is not equal to 3 exactly what you will do you will swap this whole pair with the third pair so this 4 and 2 will come here and then this 3 and 3 will go here something like this now you will check this 2 is equal to 2 yes it is true then you will increment your pointer meaning you will increment i now you have to see this 3 is equal to 3 yes it is then you'll increment your pointer and then this is going to be 4 and you'll check 4 is equal to 4 yes then you remember you swapped only two times so the number of swaps you did was 2 and you will keep the track of that swap and you're done let's code this so this is your code you will pass this array and the length of the array and this is where we'll create the vector and populate that vector here with array value and the index okay so this vector is ready now after that as i told you we'll have to sort it so this will sort based on values exactly once you are done with that see this is that for loop where you will iterate and check whether this second number is equal to index so see we are checking vector of i dot second is equal to i or not so this is zeroth location so this vector of zeroth location which is actually this whole pair and we are saying dot we're saying that dot second which is actually this zero and that zero is equal to i which is zero yes it is true we'll go ahead we'll just say continue we'll continue we'll go here continue meaning you will increment this i plus plus again you will check is this equal to equal to but for our case it was not because here you was having two and this was four so this was four and this was two okay and this was five and this was just one so this four is not equal to i correct which is i is one and four is four so it is not equal to this then we'll go to the else case and we'll increment a swap counter which we are supposed to return in the end so we'll increment the swap counter and we'll swap this vector of i which is this whole pair with vector of i's second so this fourth location pair so ultimately you are swapping this guy with this guy and after swapping we are still decrementing the count and you will go again in the loop and you will again check the same place so after swapping 5 and 1 was coming here and 2 and 4 was going here then this one would be equal to one this time because this minus and plus would still bring this i to one and you will end up checking this pair again five and one and this time you will say yeah they are okay they are equal so you will continue so like this you will iterate over this whole vector and you will have number of swaps required and i did this video just because i wanted to explain next video which you will see tomorrow and that is about how to sort or what is the minimum swap required for converting a binary tree to a binary search tree okay we will use the same trick in that also so just wait for one day thanks bye bye take care